Hello and welcome to the thread of gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. How are we Hello. doing? Hola, amigos. Oh. Hola. <laughs> How we doing, guys? We good? Yeah, we're uh, good. Fucking Monday, but it's Tuesday, but it's kind of Monday. Fuck it. Fuck a double Monday, yeah. Tuesday. Mm. Don't need that in your life. Mm. So, uh, last week, we broke tradition. We did. We had a special yeah. guest on. We had a special guest, but we also broke tradition because there wasn't that many poo stories. Something a slight that I have tried to rectify today. Good Lord. With it's a fine, meaty town. broth selection. Yeah, nice. <laughs> meaty broth. It's a sofrito of poo. <laughs> oh, you have come back from Italy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Our little boy has come back so cultured. <laughs> ah, the ragu of diarrhea. I'm going to be a friend in town. Is it? Buongiorno. See. Hello and welcome to The Thread of Gentlemen, a podcast where we take a kamikaze dive into the best and often worst tales the internet has to offer. I'm Johnny. I'm Ben. I'm Charlie. And without any further ado, I think we need to get this show started. Uh, so this one is called Disgusting, isn't it? From T-Bone Malone. We Thank you very much for sending this one in, T-Bone Malone. I'm going to guess two things. Yes, it is disgusting. And I'm also going to guess that that is not his real name. I, yeah, listen. <laughs> is that biblical, T-Bone? Oh, I don't think his name's going to be T-Bone, but uh, T-Bone Malone. But he sent it in to us. Or, or is, is it, it, it T-Bony Maloney? <laughs> and if you oh. want to send it in to us... <laughs> hey, oh. hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, How are we going to... Where have I going with this? Where are we getting more stories from? Do you know Can what we tell the people? Uh, send them into stories at thethreadofgentlemen.com. Follow us on the social media. Uh. Like and subscribe. Uh. All the other stuff you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram, on Twitter, on your mum's tits. Can Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Find us. Do you know? Do <laughs> you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Answers on a postcard. Um, <laughs> uh, so, a few years back, I was rushing through an airport for a connecting flight. Um, I'd wa- connecting flights are like, they suck. Oh, the fuck. Fuck. Do you know what? Don't just exist. pay the extra money and don't have the stress and just go direct. Yeah, well, like, go I've, direct. I've, like, they, I just feel like they always go wrong. Like, it's chaos. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you're, it's... You're, you're, you're balancing plates. I'm trying to think. I've only, I've only ever done it once. Um, do you guys want to take a guess on whether I managed to make my connecting flight? Did it get, has anyone ever made that connecting <laughs> <I did> flight? Not. <laughs> Fuck! My, my soul is still there, by the way, in the airport <laughs> rotting. Did it, you not make out your luggage? Because it's always one or the other. No, actually, um, my my luggage made it to the airport before I. Uh, well, it, it got in the airport before I did, uh, and then uh, arrived. And I was arriving as my flight back to London was taking off, so I sat nice. in Washington Airport for a little bit, yeah. and then uh, they managed to find me a flight. It was delayed. It's a lot of miserable people on that flight. I was very happy. I got back to London, but bag didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but it's the journey home, so it doesn't really matter no, as much. But it was it. cool because my bag did come and eventually it came with a little slip saying the FBI had searched it. Oh, really? lovely. Yeah. Taking all your dildos out. Every fucking one. All your dildos <laughs> and picture of a salmon. Uh, it was an empty bag yeah. after that. Yeah. <laughs> all, all your ISIS pamphlets gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, uh, the underwear with the, uh, the skid marks in it, Still there. Yeah. <laughs> so, moving on. Yeah. Uh, tell us about the airport debacle. Uh, so, I'd watched Mission Impossible 2 on the first flight. Good film. Uh, good film. Great I was film. feeling like a spy. After being in the air, my guts had pressurized, and now, knowing I was about to be airborne again, I needed to leave some unattended items at the brown baggage claim. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. T-Bone Malone. Have we actually become the Sun newspaper of podcasts? There's a very real chance for that. Punny, punny. I'll show you my tits on page three. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) That's sad. (laughs) Um, I didn't have much time, so I rushed into the bathroom. Bugger. Two (laughs) stalls out of order with tape on them and two stalls occupied. Urinal. I Mm. thought, what would Tom Cruise do? What would Tom Cruise do? He would Join shout a Philip Seymour Hoffman whilst balancing him out of a plane. That's what he would do. Yeah, yeah. Just, just hold it in, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Um, I paced and paced, no action. I've understated just how time-sensitive my bowel situation and the closing of the connecting flight's gate was. <laughs> the time was now, <laughs> and I needed to <laughs> be <laughs> decisive. <laughs> I'm hearing that, like, the recorded yeah. version of that. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kip, you were right. Oh no. Uh, the time is now, I need to be decisive. The urinal. Oh. It's like a gigantic porcelain cheapie, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what, John? I think you're right on that one. 
Uh, I took my trousers down a bit and hoped to God no one came in or left the stalls. Why a bit? I was lucky, and like a spy, my timing was perfect. <laughs> I imagine he's like, he's got his trousers down slightly and he's bent over, but just like, enough if anybody does come in, he can quickly pull up and walk away. Yeah, also, yeah. by the way, credit to this guy that you're in that situation and you're going, I'm cool, I'm not Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a spy, <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, somebody's calling a sex offender line. Uh, <laughs> so I turned my trousers down a bit and hoped to God no one came in or left the stalls. Uh, I was lucky and like a spy, my timing was perfect. I laid a Tom Cruise-sized turd in that urinal. <laughs> Aren't they always massive after a flight? No. I don't think this is as cool as it is in your head. Uh, <laughs> like, whatever whatever like music you're hearing in your head, we're not getting that, the rest of us. No, I, the, if, while I'm on the toilet, it's it's just sad references. <laughs> it's nothing, you know. Schindler's List. Oh, I'm like Henry Cavill in The Witcher. <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't quite work, does it? Uh, so, subtle wipe with my tissue in my pocket. Went into the waste paper bin and I went to wash my hands. Ethan Hunt, you've done it again, you goddamn hero. He's <laughs> like, this guy. I, 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 I needed a shit desperately, went to a toilet, and I was very subtle about shitting <laughs> in the yeah. urinal. What did he say, you goddamn hero? <laughs> goddamn hero. <laughs> I don't know, I quite like the defiance. Uh, I, like, I like this guy, T Bo Malone. Hey, did, did um, he like pop his collar on the way? Yeah. <laughs> Winked at his engine. Like, as he got on the plane, he's like, yeah, that's mine. Uh, as I was washing my hands, a guy walks in, of course. Like a cool guy washing my hands. <laughs> Sees the big log in the urinal and stops. He looks at me washing my hands, then back to the turd. I go to leave, and as I pass this flabbergasted man, I say, I know, disgusting, isn't it? Some people. <laughs> this guy oh, yeah. has done it right. Everything so far, he's ticked all the boxes. Yeah, he, does, yeah. he played his card. Whether it, it was taken in, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a smelt it dealt it situation though, where the guy was like, Yeah, okay, bro. <laughs> like, but he left the hat. He, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He, yeah. he left the hat. Yeah, I guess he did. Like, you know, it, I, I, everyone else would have just kind of like gone in the, the really bad toilet that had been like closed off or something like that, and then just got like skids all over themselves or something. Yeah. Foolproof. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was only when, oh, here's where it goes wrong. Well. Uh, <laughs> It was only when I got the air, got on the airplane, uh, I remembered that both working stores were still occupied, so it was very obviously me. <laughs> oh well, I'll never see him again. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah leave the hat. He left yeah. the hat. He left, he left the, the hat. The guy left that left the, the, the fucking hat. hat. He passed the blame. I'm yeah. all about. Now, what was his name? T T Bone Malone. T Bone Malone. What I want to say to our audience is that you can have a boo story and it not end disastrously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, let's have a happy ending for once. Yeah. So, uh, round of applause for. Uh, Go on, T Bone. Um, All right, so uh, this one is called The Coat Hanger, sent in by Jay. Thank you, Jay. Well, is it thank you? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> we'll see. Neutral, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Gents. Sitting on the fence, Jay. <laughs> Gents, exclamation mark. Okay. I've shown my missus this podcast, right? Bad move. Yeah, yeah. Bad my friend, move, I, I Jay. I warn you about. Mistake. <laughs> Yeah. So, gents, I've shown my missus this podcast and I've been given the okay to share this story. Fair enough. This one is fucked. Apologies. <laughs> uh, okay, well. All right. Yeah, it's called the co hanger. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. hanging on to the edge of my seat. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, it's, a, it's going in an arse, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's just trepidation it's, in our the voices. The co hanger's going in someone. Yeah. Yeah. My wife and I took a trip up to Scotland a few years back and we decided to drive. We love a road trip, and she always keeps it fun no matter how many miles and hours are added to the clock. Nice. Nice, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Good. The morning of the trip, we bound into the local Tesco's and buy nothing but shit food for the way up. Yeah, of course. Good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Good. Go start saying. Think of everything a couple of 12-year-olds would buy for a long road trip, despite the fact that we were in our 30s. Y yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, like, that's great. Yeah. Star mix. Mm -hmm. Star mix. Yeah, definitely star mix. You're going to need some mints in there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might seem like a small detail to add in, but it makes sense later. There's a piece <laughs> of the puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some clues going here. Yeah. On the trip up, we also hit up two service stations to break up the journey. McDonald's and KFC, respectively. Nice. nice. Just yeah. reducing the colon to yeah. withering uselessness. Yeah. And coffee. Lots of coffee. Oh, okay. yeah. Foreshadowing. 
<laughs> the drive is beautiful, and we get to the hotel late. By this point, I'm absolutely... <laughs> I fucking love yeah, the You're your own worst enemy. I love the English language that people use. Man. <laughs> By this point, I'm absolutely cacking for a shit. <laughs> Backed all the way up to my lungs. You, you've <laughs> nice. got the, the, what do you call it, like the goldfish arsehole going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh man. But my missus says she needs to use the facilities first. Fine by me. Yeah, it got to be a gentleman, gentleman. True gentleman, but shitting in the hallway. Yeah, he sounds like he's, you know, he's in a bad way. Just remember, the, the story's called Carpet Hanger. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah. I have <laughs> no idea where this is going. She's in there a while, and by the third or fourth flush, I realise that she's in trouble. No, she's dead. <laughs> she, uh, 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 she comes out sheepishly and tells me she's blocked the toilet. Nice. Panic oh. stations. <laughs> now the title makes sense. Yeah. Let's see whether this guy's like Tom Cruise. <laughs> I know I've only got about ten minutes before I'm snaking one out in the hotel garden, so I'm formulating plans. Just Tower of Babel it, man. Yeah, just add to it. Yes, yeah, just, uh, just drop it and walk away. I'd swear and go and complain to the hotel and be like, guys, listen, there is a massive, massive shit in the toilet. Yeah, there is a fucking love upgrade to a suite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the plumbing in this room, yeah. don't cut it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll leave a bad review on TripAdvisor. Yeah, with a picture. <laughs> I don't want to cause her any embarrassment, but this thing was a fucking beast. Nice. It, it glued itself to the porcelain like an Extinction oh, Rebellion yeah. activist. <laughs> <laughs> And it wasn't going to be moved. <laughs> That's a fucking great reference. Love that. I put a full kettle of boiling water on it, oh. and the turd just laughed at me. <laughs> That's a resilient shit. Yeah. Yeah. Another kettle load. Nothing. What the fuck had you guys been eating? Well, well that's the point, isn't oh, yeah. it? That's when you mix fast food with fucking petrol station sweets. Yeah, KFC, yeah. Star Mix, and Monster Munch. <laughs> that's oh, nice. Man. Yeah. Like, that's just absolutely... like, think to yourself for one minute if you Greasy read Greasy and every... sticky. Oh, dude. Read all of the ingredients on every one of those packets. Yeah. And you've put all of that <laughs> into a, an acid bath. Yeah. It's like grease, gelatin, and sugar. Oh. You've basically created a symbiote. Yeah, yeah. Venom's coming out. Yeah, here, yeah. Right? The toilet just starts talking to you like, Hey, <laughs> With a Scottish no, accent. It actually ends up just being like the matron man ready. So she's like, Oh, yeah, not going down. No way. <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> not going to happen. <laughs> We're not going down. No way, no. <laughs> Another kettle load, nothing. I thought about sending my brewing turd down there like billiards to yeah. see if that could unhook the beast's clutches, but I thought better of it. Why? Plus, <laughs> plus, I felt kind of bad for the hotel toilet being double <laughs> penetrated straight off the bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking DP'd the toilet. Disgusting. Oh, right. Honestly, at one point, I was considering phoning reception and asking for a knife. By the way, mate, that's leverage on your girlfriend. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you got that on her. No, you to ask you for a knife. No. You know, that's the knife goes in, knife breaks. Bread, no, I need one with, like serrated. No, no you, you don't have that on your girlfriend. You, you let that one go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't you know. Can't do you can't that. You, you let that one go. But do you not just keep it in no, your back pocket no, silently? No, 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 never. <laughs> so, honestly, at one point, I was considering phoning reception and asking for a knife when I saw our saviour. The coat hanger. Ah, oh, there you go. But go on then. Call the reception and ask for a knife. <laughs> ask for a poo knife. Yeah, I mean, like, they're like, what do you need it for? And you're like, I need to cut a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my wife's done a hacking shit. <laughs> I think you yeah, have to. Sorry, I'm going to go out on a limb here. You have to go into that person and be like, there is the log of logs. <laughs> <laughs> now we need a knife that's a one way trip. <laughs> right. I need your biggest bread knife. <laughs> you, no, it's not a bread knife. You need a fucking meat cleaver. Yeah. <laughs> Find the thing the chef wants. Oh, gone. Like, yeah. I, will, I will make it gone. The, the medieval cleaver that you see <laughs> yeah. in the medieval market where they cut the head off a fish. Yeah. That's what you need. Uh, God, God bless you, Joe. Yeah. yeah. Right. I get a strong coat hanger, man. I zorroed that shit with righteous <laughs> vengeance. <laughs> the, the turd knew about longevity, but it knew nothing of sword play. <laughs> <laughs> that thing dropped like Catherine Zito Jones's dress. <laughs> <laughs> I broke its back with the coat hanger and sent it on its merry way to the sewage treatment plant. Onga! Onga! I was waiting for it. <laughs> 
I gave the coat hanger a rinse and and back into the wardrobe it no, went. No, 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 no. What? Oh, out of the no, window. No, no, no. People, have we not heard the story about the hat? <laughs> the fuck? Oh, I often Did he think... actually reshape it? He just said he gave it a rinse. It's not... In what? Like if we bleach? That water didn't move that thing. <laughs> you know, like, back, back, I say back in the olden days when we were kids and, like, you'd fall over and break your arm and your mum would be like, oh, just run it under a cold tap. <laughs> I feel like that's what they did with it. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Oh, oh yeah. man. I often think of the suit jackets and dresses that have been hung on it since and if the wearers have any idea of the mighty battle fought by this humble hanger... <laughs> Probably should have chucked it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Jay, yeah, you probably should have fucking yeah, chucked yeah, it. Yeah, no the doubt. hangover was mightier than the sword. <laughs> oh, oh, just imagine the sad attempt to kind of reshape it. You're like, there you go, under the water. <laughs> yeah. Rinse back uh, in it, guys. Don't use the hotel toothbrush, put it back. Oh, Jay, I was with you for 95% of that one, but the ending was yeah, fucked. Even, even if you turned around and be like, I kept it as a souvenir of my mighty triumph over the fucking I mean, the thing is, you just... break it and then you put it in the bin, don't you? <laughs> Don't you frisbee out of the window? <laughs> right in someone's eye. Why well, are you in Scotland? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Right, Jay. Thank you for sending that in. Um, don't do that. No. Don't, do that. Yep. don't ever do that. People, we're, we're season three, and we're still not leaving hats. Yeah. <laughs> right, Kips. What you got? What you got? Oh yeah, there's a story from me. Star for you. From me, but it's it's coming from. Me. Okay, um, <laughs> it's from you. Do you it's called we... airport diarrhea. Ah, hey, setting out our stall early. See, didn't I promise you shit, listeners? It's a mysterious title. I wonder what the story would be about. And it's from anonymous. This is going badly. Not a good sign you at all. From anonymous. I bet his name was actually anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Alfred. Yeah. Alfred. Alfred Anonymous. Because <laughs> this podcast gets major hits now. Um, airport diarrhea. Full stop. That wasn't just the title. That was the first line of the story. Ah. As always, comma. And yes, I will be naming all the boat <laughs> yeah. It's supremely annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Full I'm about stop. To diarrhea, aren't you? Uh, That's as a always, lot of editing for John. <laughs> uh, so, sorry. Airport diarrhea. It happened at the worst possible time too. No, diarrhea doesn't happen at the good time. No, there's there's no real no, great. No. I think diarrhea is Latin for happens at worst time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. I oh, think yeah. it's Latin for oh no. At <laughs> 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 two pute. <laughs> yes, fucking <laughs> got it. Oh, I just want to tear this up now. Um, Although is isn't it at two putus? Sorry to take Let that me from it. you. <laughs> GCSE Latin, yeah. failing us all. Uh, uh, he says, I'll never forget it. Do you ever forget diarrhea? I don't think you do. I guess it depends how regularly you have it. Yeah. So it was last year during the winter of 2022. Oh, uh, relevant. Uh, and I ran to the bathroom in a bad way. Uh, I was about to start the proceedings when this lady also ran in and goes to the small stall next to me. Eesh. So that means this was sent in by a lady. Ooh. In the ladies' bathroom. Or a sex offender. Don't know why I said it <laughs> in a jazzy, funky voice. If it, uh, it, it's a check. That's, it's anonymous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, so, great. An audience. Yeah, I gotta get that. I don't like shitting with somebody next to me. Yeah. I will walk into a bathroom. I will see the little red thing and I'll go, nah. I'll go down the other end of the office. I want peace and quiet whilst I'm watching Randy Savage videos and shit in my guts out. <laughs> whilst I'm having a wank at work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want anybody hearing that. Flip, 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 flip. Sounds like somebody's walking in in wet flip flops. Um, <laughs> but really fun game where if you do walk into someone and they are, they're, they're doing that thing where like, they're clearly having a poo but just like holding it in because they don't want to be there. Like, pretend you've done some business, wash your hands, put the dryer on, open the door, close the door. <laughs> And then, ah! and then when they start going again then you make a noise then you cheer them or someone like that <laughs> we'll be like hello <laughs> are you pooping <laughs> oh, I just now I want to do that yeah. in the office but the, the, when it happens you just go nice nice yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah Sandra big load <laughs> nice <laughs> uh, yeah so I start to hear a phone call no don't no no, you receive a phone call, you don't answer it. And I keep so wait, so, so she's got diarrhea, she's in the toilet, the lady in the stall next to her... Well, I think she's run in, and then somebody else has come in as well. Right, yeah. So you've been like, oh, great, two empty stalls, and then somebody else is in, you're like, shit, 
And then the, the lady ran in after yeah, us. Yeah, and then they're like, like oh. Oh. <laughs> and then, I'm having a shit. Yeah. Uh, so it says, I, I start to hear a phone call. Great, even bigger audience. <laughs> but she suddenly starts sobbing uncontrollably. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Just, just go. The timing? Just go. Oh, my God. Send that fucking duck into the hoisin sauce. Yeah. <laughs> just go for it, man. Go ham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just send it. Yeah. Somebody just starts send crying. It. If somebody starts crying next to me in the cubicle, I'm even going to make the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. young man <laughs> oh, oh no I'd have to go oh god <laughs> uh, she starts uh, telling her sibling that their father had just passed away oh, no. oh, no. you decided to have that conversation oh. in the toilet it's open house yeah it's I'm, open fucking house uh, I'd hold it in after that I think nah no <laughs> <laughs> Or just ruin it. Here comes daddy. <laughs> you decided to take the fucking daddy died call into a toilet. Yeah, that's a mistake. Rip. <laughs> oh, at this point, I I'm not going to any longer. That's the soundbite we're going to use for like all of season three. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, did I sound a little bit like uh, uh, Dave Chappelle? He's like, let it rip. <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> uh, so like Colonel so, Sanders, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. I, if, if my sister called me, she's like, "I've got some bad news about Dad." I wouldn't be like, uh, 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 "The man's <laughs> fucking anywhere, anywhere." That was the best place you could do. You're about to hear a boo. So, <laughs> did, did she go or not? Well, at this point, my ass couldn't hold it any longer and unleashed hell. <laughs> Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. Uh, it, <laughs> it was so loud, I wondered what the person on the other side uh, of that call thought, even if I, st- <laughs> even if I stifled laughter into uh, folded toilet paper. Nah, just, <laughs> nah, just nah, laugh. Laugh. Let, let it all out. Sorry, man. I'm yeah. fucking... I look, I, by the way, condolences. But you decided to fucking take the daddy died call into a poo poo room. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Uh, I feel like that's a lack of respect, but listening to that and then also shitting. Uh, do you know what, though? Unless she wasn't shitting while she was doing the daddy death call, maybe she went in there because no, she was crying. I, I, I don't even doubt that she went in there to be like, oh, no, doors closed, crying. But it's also like you're, you're in, in a toilet. toilet. Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah. It, no one else comes in? You had the conversation in a toilet. You did, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you... yeah, fucker, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you got the diarrhea as well, you got the kind of flappy fart sounds that come out with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way around it. <laughs> like, uh, she said, I couldn't believe this was happening. Poor lady. I know. She, uh, it's like you had to listen to her stuff while you were having the time of your life. Yeah. Poor you, man. <laughs> uh, later, I finally got comfortable in the airplane. I, I recalled what happened and erupted into laughter. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's funny. I mean, yeah. we did the same thing, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah, just laughed. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, the stranger next to me asked me what was so funny, and I told him the story and, the, and pretended it wasn't me. <laughs> How do you. Do you just say that you were just in I'm there? In and you're like, I went yeah, in and yeah. I just heard this cubicle and I heard them talking and, nah. and then the person next to them, the disgusting person next to them, yeah. did a oh, shit. Oh, they did a poo. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking congratulations. Yeah, fucking yeah. great good stuff. For you, yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, anonymous, you didn't need to make that anonymous. That was a really good story. That yeah. was a really good story. And if you have a good story, hey, 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 hey. send it into stories there, throw it at hey, hey, hey. Like we're we're going to get one that was like, I was having the worst day, my dad had just died, and then the fucker in the toilet next yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one, this is it, this is it. Guys, this is it. This, this is, is it. it. This is the thing. thing. Um, <laughs> that sounded like the giant right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Reddit's most nope things a sexual partner has asked you to do. Ah, oh, this will be good. This will be good, good, okay. good. Right. So it's got me thinking now. Craig Fire, are you ready for this? Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Just go. Just go. Just go. Just, just hit it. it. Just go. Uh, just One Fishy says, I'm missing an eye. A dude wanted to just stick the tip in my empty eye socket. <laughs> hard, hard pass. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, right? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> is, it uh, right. It's a blueprint concept. <laughs> I mean, that's a concept. <laughs> no, no, okay, I'm with you. There's I'm not really an opportunity, opportunity, but I'm going to give you some advice. 
tread. The thing is, if if you're like married, long term relationship, she's lost an eye. She she's an ex pirate. No, doesn't even that consensual. You would ask, wouldn't you? You would just be like, listen. <laughs> well, I mean, people put it in the place where poo comes out of, so really yeah, is it uh, that yeah, bad? Yeah, it's not an eye. At this point, it's just another hole. It's not an eye, it's an eye hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she said no anyway, so, you know. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, Coastal Living 40 says, uh, not trying to kink shame, but just last week, a girl asked me to buy a goat milking machine and use it on her. <laughs> A uh, whole nine yards. She wanted me to treat her like she was my pet, but wanted me to be a bad owner. Uh, hey, easy fucking now. Metro. <laughs> I try to keep an open mind when it comes to fetishes, so I did give it some thought. I couldn't convince myself to go through it with it, though. No, good for you, because you're um, not a fucking weirdo. Yeah, that's And a, she's not a goat. That's a weird so one. so specific as well that you're just like... I, the, the people who do the animal stuff... Yeah, the, the, the dressing up as the dogs and everything. Sorry for one of our listeners that, but I'm not sorry. You're fucking weird. Like okay. apparently the furry thing though, it's not a sexual thing. Dressing up like a chicken, it, fucking, it's, fucking. It's, it's got to be a sexual thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a sexual thing. Like it's got to be, surely. Yeah. But yeah, I've, they they keep coming out and vehemently defending that it's not a sexual thing. It's who they are as people. They identify as tortoises and dogs and fucking I don't know wombats yeah yeah, but also like to get fucked in that outfit yeah <laughs> it's a sexual thing gotta be um, uh, by the way do your thing but I just don't want to be part of it okay I just yeah. don't want to know about it no I don't want to do the goat fucking thing I'm okay uh, so another one says and I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of our listeners, so, you know, thank you. Um, I had a dude ask me to poop on his chest, and I said no. Are you good? Good yeah. start. Great yeah. start. Left the hat. So we settled. There's no settling. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no settling, this is the negotiation. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was like, so we met in the middle. So we settled for him watching me poop through a crack in the door and me promising not to flush it. <laughs> he also called me a weirdo at one point, and it hurt that even the scat guy thinks I'm weird. Okay. Yeah, that's going to burn. You, you don't just leave, you run. Yeah, I did not like... Because you end up dead. This one's, this one's horrible. I'm probably not going to go in. Um, Red October 2022 adds, one dude said, I wish you were my sister and we could fuck all the time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the hills yeah. have eyes. The hills have weird... Yeah. The hills have weird um, <laughs> Right, another one says, I once had a girlfriend tell me she wanted me to do her up the butt. And then, whilst inside her, empty my bladder into her lower intestine. There you go. <laughs> right. there it you was go. like, normal, normal, fuck. Yeah. We when just, she just told me this, in. I did not say anything for a few minutes, but after this request, I decided that I should go back to being single. Apparently, it's called gas tanking. <laughs> Can we bring out some gas tanking? I, like? don't, oh. I don't care what it's called, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the name isn't the problem. Yeah. Also, you can't really pee when you're stiff. I, th- I was going to say that. You know, it's a you real... Can, well, you can. I mean, you can, but it's not... It's not... It's not a proper flow. Mm. The, the problem is, is if something is even vaguely possible, uh, they've done it in Serbia. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Yeah, how do you type with a Serbian accent? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Tox Louise says, I had a hookup once ask me to put my foot up his ass. Like, literally, he wanted me mm. to stick my whole foot into his ass. It's like, it's I wear such a size a 13. Shape. I just left and never spoke to that guy again. Yeah, but like, what is the thing with... Why do people want to be worn as shoes? I, th- I, I, I think yeah, shit like this, I, though, it's like a concept, Right. Like, it's the concept... I don't even know what I'm trying to get into. <laughs> yeah, why are you defending this shit, man? Fucking in it. Like, just don't. Chucks Louise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, there was a, a, a guy that I used to know. I'm sure he won't mind me sharing this story. His, um... It was either him or his older brother hooked up with this Australian chick in Australia. And... <clears throat> They're going at it on the floor, and then she turns around and goes, shit in my sock and beat me with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I just fucking so love Australians. I, yeah, I do too. Like, then the fact that, was it, a root is a fuck? And yeah. A gobby is a blowjob? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Australians, the God's comedians. They really are. They're fucking amazing. They're the funniest them. fucking people on planet Earth. Candy made me too dry has one. <laughs> Don't <laughs> like the name. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, clues the name. Candy made um, me too dry. She asked me to eat a Twix out of her butthole. <laughs> I put Slightly suggested something that didn't look like a melty turd. We agreed on a lollipop, and it was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair enough. That's two people into the same thing. I like, she's just gonna say no every time to that cuisine. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not a restaurant, is yeah, it? I already eat vanilla ice cream. Oh, Reference um, for some of our old. Okay, listeners. you ready for it? No, I'm not, but you're going to do it anyway, aren't you? Um, Highland Hung. Oh, wow. Good name. <laughs> good name. Well, well, really is. good name. Highland Hung, yeah. It is. Yeah. It's like good in it. theory, but in practice. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I graduated, one girl wanted me to watch her fuck her dog. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no. Shortly after that, no, another no, no, asked, no, 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 no
I can see you doing that in like a, an airport, just being like. Hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, I have thought of myself as Tom Cruise before, but that's because I'm short as shit. So, <laughs> um, and you do your own stunts. And I, I do, I've seen you do them. Yeah, I, I like the person who was uh, shitting next to dead papa. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it, but I feel, I don't know, I feel coat hanger. I'm, I'm feeling coat side. hanger. Well, listen, guys, we'll put it up to uh, to vote on our Instagram. Yeah. So you guys vote for your favourite story this week. Yeah, do you want Antonio Banderas with a coat hanger? Do you, yes. Do you want Tom Cruise in a toilet? Or do you, uh, what's a great reference for somebody who shits next to a dead dad? <laughs> cool. I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, sugar coat it. Yeah. And the uh, the winner gets a t shirt. Yeah, a lovely thread of gentleman t shirt. Oh yeah, exclusive thread of gentleman t shirt. Yeah. Right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Thank you very much. Adios, muchachos. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> Bye.